Thank you for staying tuned in with us here at Fox News Real Grande Valley. Let's begin this evening's forecast by going over those watches and warnings. Now, currently we are under a tornado warning that will be in effect until 930. Make sure that you are taking all those precautions that are necessary. Those wind speeds are said to be tra traveling between 30 miles per hour and between 60 miles per hour. Now we are also under a tornado watch and that will be in effect until tomorrow at 7 a.m. So just keep that in mind, especially those of you that are on the road throughout this evening. And those of you that live in mobile homes or if your homes do tend to be affected by this inclement weather, just keep that in mind. We are also under that tropical storm warning due to tropical storm Alberto, which hit landfall earlier today. We are also under a flood watch as well as a flood advisory. If you are on the road and you do feel you are entering an area that does flood due to the poor drainage systems here in the valley, always remember to turn around and don't drown. We're looking at that tropical activity currently. As I mentioned, tropical storm Alberto has made landfall, and this is why we will be experiencing this rainfall throughout the next few days here across the valley. Looking at that satellite and radar, currently the valley is being affected by those thunderstorms, and that will continue throughout this evening, so just keep that in mind. For that national satellite and radar, the Gulf Coast is also being affected by that heavy precipitation over in the Central Plains. There is also some rainfall. The Four Corners and the Northwest is also experiencing some of that precipitation. Moving along back home, taking a look at this evening's low temperatures. Here at home across McAllen, lows for tonight will drop down to 78 over in Edinburgh and those high 70s as well. Harlingen and Cameron County at 79 degrees over in Brownsville at 80 degrees over in the coastal region, 81 degrees over in La Jolla and those high 70s and over in Store County at 77 degrees and this rainfall will be affecting the entire valley throughout the whole evening. For the next 24 hours here at home across the region we're still going to be experiencing this rainfall. Today was the day that we experienced the most heavy rainfall but we're still going to continue to experience this rain so just keep that in mind especially those of you that are on the road or if you do live in an area that tends to flood. I do want to mention if you do experience any power outages that you do take all those precautions that are necessary. Don't be turning on your generators indoors. Make sure you are turning them on safely in an outdoor area and do not leave them unattended. And if you do turn on any candles, always remember to not leave them unattended as well. Tomorrow's highs will be reaching 86 degrees. We are expecting that heavy rainfall and wind speeds are set to be traveling at 15 miles per hour. Those highs in the rest of the valley over in Edinburgh. Highs will be reaching 88 degrees. Real Grande City at 86 degrees over in Cameron County and Harlingen at 88. Over in Brownsville in those low 90s and over at South Padre Island for tomorrow on Thursday. Those highs will be reaching 89. Moving along to that heat index, feel like temperatures for the next seven days. We're catching a slight break from those triple digits here at home across the valley. But we still will be experiencing that muggy those muggy conditions by Friday that heat index will be reaching those triple digits. We are expecting this rain percentage chance to be high for these next few days. Moving along to that extended forecast tomorrow is Thursday already. We're getting closer and closer to the weekend. Highs of 86, lows of 78 and then those temperatures will slightly rise for Friday and then slightly drop down for Saturday. Now keep in mind that that tornado warning will be in effect until tonight at 930. That's going to finish off this evening's forecast folks but stay with us because we still have a lot more.